Erica and Ben, Boston Public Schools is still asking students and teachers to wear masks indoors. But here at UMass Boston, there is once again a mask mandate in effect. And this is not the only institution where masks are not optional. I don't know if it's like necessary to like wear masks again, like now that everybody has like the vaccines. I think it's a good way to keep everyone safe. As of today, the mask mandate is back inside Chelsea Public Schools. The school district is taking this action in response to CDC data, showing that the community level of COVID-19 in Suffolk County is high. Tonight, there are some calls for other Suffolk County cities, like Boston, to follow suit. We're calling on Superintendent Skipper, on Mayor Wu, to make, instead of an ask, make this uh, required universal masking. There is no indication yet that Boston Public Schools will reinstitute the mask mandate, but UMass Boston did so today. I think it's actually a great decision, um, and I applaud the university for taking that decision to bring the mask back. Do you think that the, the school made the right decision? No, it's definitely an inconvenience, and it's it's, it's harder for students. It's, it's harder to teach with a mask. But I think it makes sense to, to be cautious for a little while. The question is, will mask mandates be effective this time around? One leading local epidemiologist says no. It's not going to have much of an impact, if any impact at all, if you implement it just in that setting and just in that time of the day. And Dr. Darone believes that mask mandates are not necessary this time around due to vaccinations and treatments and less severe disease. But of course, people who are at high risk should consider wearing a mask indoors, even if there is not a mandate. Reporting live at UMass Boston, Todd Kiskevich, WCVB News Center 5.